Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've been uploading anything but here I am back in action. So today I'm presenting to you this lovely 2022 Mercedes-Benz E300 AMG line. As usual, I'll show you the exterior, take you around the interior as well as show you all around this beautiful car. So without further ado, let's begin the video. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the engine bay of the stunning 2022 Mercedes-Benz E300 AMG line. So just locate the lever right here, pull on it, the engine bay will open right up. So as you can see, this is the engine bay. You have the engine cover right here with the three-pointed star proudly presented right there. Overall engine bay is quite neat, it looks very very good. So let's talk about power. The E300 comes with a 2-litre, 4-cylinder turbocharged engine producing about 255 horsepower and 370 Nm of torque respectively. All the power is sent to the rear wheels via a 9G-tronic 9-speed automatic transmission. 0 to 100 can be done in 6.2 seconds, onwards to a top speed of 250 km per hour. So it's a very powerful engine. It's a 2-litre Inline 4 turbocharged engine, as you can see right there. Looking good with the the four rectangles right here. Signifying this is the inline 4 engine. If it's an inline 6, you'll have six of those right there. Overall, the engine bay looks quite neat. Very, very good. And the engine is held by these two hydraulic struts, which can be really helpful when opening and closing the engine bay. This is standard. This is what you expect in a premium brand like Mercedes-Benz so this is how it looks like with the engine bay open let's go ahead and close it so now let us start the exterior walk around of this beautiful 2022 Mercedes-Benz E300 AMG line so this is the overall look of the E300 AMG line. Overall, it looks really aggressive. It looks really exclusive as well. It has really nice proportions. And I really love the front design as you can see. So now let's take a look at the front. So as you can see, this is the, the front end of the E300 AMG line. Overall, it looks really aggressive with the AMG line treatment. Let's have a better look at the front. So as you can see, this is how it looks from the front. Overall, it looks really aggressive, especially in this silver paintwork with the black accents on the grille and with the diamonds, as you can see, it looks very, very nice. Now, let's go up close. So, as you can see, you get the AMG line diamond grille, as you can see right here, with the three-pointed star proudly presented in the center. And you may notice the three-pointed star is actually behind this laminated area. That's because the E300 AMG line comes fully equipped with uh, Mercedes's Distronic Adaptive Cruise Control. So it comes with Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Departure Warning, Lane Keep Assist, Blind Spot Monitoring as well as uh, Park Assist. So it's really good if you ask me for the E300 AMG line being a premium car, you would expect all these features as standard. So you get your 3 pointed star ornament right there. And then it, as I said, it gets the diamond wheel as you can see with all the diamond patterns right there as you can see. Looking really really good. And you get uh, the 360 camera as well, therefore you get your camera up there. You get 360 all-round camera. And then you get your Mercedes star with the two silver trims from left going to right as well. Overall, the grille looks amazing. Then you get your Mercedes-Benz badge up here as well, as you can see. 
It's now moving on to the headlights. So as you can see, the E300 AMG line does come with the multi-beam LED headlamps. They look really, really amazing. As you can see, if you go up close, they have a special, very nice detail. You also get that small Mercedes icon right there. So you get four LED headlamps with an adaptive high beam assist plus. You also get LED indicators. Full LED headlamps, as you can see, with the Mercedes-Benz icon right there, the Mercedes-Benz lettering. You also get the blue details within the headlamps, as you can see. As you can see the beams do look really nice, the multi-beams. So you get two sets of multi-beams right there. As it says within the cluster itself, multi-beam LED, as you can see. Overall, the headlamps are very, very nice. If you go up close, Mercedes-Benz do make one of the best headlamps out there. They have a very nice detail as you can see. Admire them from here, it's amazing. And if you go up close as well, they look very nice. Then you get front parking sensors as well. And then part of the AMG line trim, you get this very nice diffuser right here that allows air to flow to the wheel wells as you can see right there. It's actually functional. But this part isn't functional, but I like this flicks right here at the side kind of reminds me of the black series models the AMG black series so now moving on to headlamps so for the E300 AMG line in Malaysia you get full LED headlamps as you can see these are the multi beam LED headlamps these are really good as you can see they have a nice detail as well if you go up close you get the Mercedes Benz lettering right there and you get the blue details as well as you can see within the headlight cluster These are the multi-beam LED headlamps. They have a very nice detail as you can see if you go up close. So you get LED indicators, LED headlights. These multi-beam LEDs do come with adaptive high beam functions. They have adaptive high beam assist plus. You get the Mercedes small little icon right there as well. And then you get the multi-beam LED lettering within the headlight cluster as well. I firstly love these blue details as you can see within the headlights. Just a little attention to detail, it makes it look very nice. So these are the headlamps once again. Mercedes Benz do make really good headlamps. They're one of the best in the whole world and they're one of the best in the class. As you can see, they have a very nice detail. So part of the AMG line trim. You do get this functional air intake right here. As you can see where I put my finger through. As you can see right here, it has this functional. It actually channels air through to the wheel well for aerodynamics. So therefore you get the functional air vent right here. And then there's two flicks right here, part of the AMG, AMG line trim. This kind of reminds me of the AMG Black Series models. Then you get front parking sensors. Here you go once again, headlamps. Very nice if you go up close. They look like a piece of jewelry actually. It's very very nice. Okay, so now moving on to this part. So for the AMG9, we do get this chrome splitter down here as well. Which makes the car look very very good, very aggressive. So, you see if you ask me, this is one of the best angles to admire the E300. Looks especially amazing from here. So these are the headlamps, as you can see. Looking very, very good. Especially the blue detail, as you can see. This is one of the best angles to admire the headlamps. You can kind of look at all the details from here. Okay, so this is the front then. Looks very aggressive. So as for tyres, the Mercedes-Benz E300 AMG line in Malaysia comes wrapped with a set of Goodyear tyres. The front dimensions are 245-40R19 and the rear dimensions are 275-35R19 respectively. So this being a rear-wheel drive car, so therefore you get a staggered setup for both front and rear. So this is the AMG line trim, so therefore you get the AMG unique rim design as you can see with the brushed aluminium finishing on the outside and the matte silver on the inner bit and you get this 5 spoke design as well, the 5 spokes overall I'm not a huge fan of the rim design I personally don't like that inner circle in matte 
if the inner circle were not there, we just the if only the five spokes were there, it would look much nicer. But overall, they still look good nonetheless. You get the AMG line electric right there. It's quite a nice touch. And you also lose out on the AMG perforated brakes. Normally on AMG line models, you will get the AMG brakes with the perforated disc. But you sadly lose it out, lose out on the E300 model. It's a bit downgrade, if you ask me. But overall, the rims do look very nice. So you get your camera up there, part of the adaptive cruise control safety suite. So your cameras are up there for your pre-collision braking and your auto braking. And this car comes with the panoramic sunroof as well, this being the E300. As for your side mirrors, the top part is finished in body colored and the bottom part is finished in this very nice gloss black. I personally love it. We also get the Mercedes-Benz lettering within the side mirror cluster. You also get LED indicators. And right below here, you get your 360 degree camera, part of the 360 camera system and also a puddle light as well. And as I mentioned just now, the E300 AMG9 comes equipped with the blind spot monitoring. So therefore, you get your blind spot monitoring indicator on the side mirror. As you can see right here, you get the blind spot monitoring triangle. Overall, this is a very good safety feature to have in the current day. This is very good to have. So your blind spot monitoring triangle right there. So this car doesn't come equipped with the night package. So therefore, you still get the chrome finishing on the window surrounds. So on other AMG line models like the GLC and all that, you will get this part in black, the window surrounds, because it's with the night package, but the E300 being an exclusive upmarket car, so therefore they chose to finish this in chrome instead. You get a chrome, door, chrome and body color door handles, you get chrome on the upper part and body color on the bottom part. You also get keyless sentry as well for all four doors. And you also get the lights when you open the door you get the puddle lights and this is the interior of the e300 amg line this car is finished in the black interior you can also opt for brown interior and red interior as well as you can see i'm a huge fan of the 64 color ambient lighting especially looks really good at night as you can see it gets the mbux and all that which i'll dive in later and cover the interior tour so these are the seats and your panoramic sunroof up top and then uh, up here, you get the Mercedes-Benz uh, dash cam, as you can see. It came uh, as a gift with this car. So this is the, the dash cam for the front and back. Overall, a very nice touch with it. So this E300 came with the Mercedes-Benz dash cam, as you can see, for front and back. So this is the front dash cam, as you can see. You get your Mercedes 3-pointer star icon right there. Overall, I love the design of the dash cam. Looks really sleek. So here we'll dive into the interior tour once we cover the exterior. So this part is finished in gloss black. You can see the sunroof up there. And these are your rear tires. They are 275 35R19 as you can see. And these are the rim design. It's the rim design. Oh it looks it's rather okay to me. Now let's have a look at the side. Let me give you a side look of the E300 AMG line. Overall, as you can see, it looks very nice from this angle too. Love the side profile. Looks amazing in silver. And really love the overall design. Now let's move on to the back. So this is how it looks from the back. Overall, for the E300 facelift, nothing much has changed really. It's just the tail lights. And overall, honestly, nothing that much. Overall, looks very nice as you can see from this angle. Now, let's take a look at the back. As you can see, you'll get your tail lights right here. You get four LED tail lights, four LED indicators. As you get, and you also get uh, reversing lights as well in LED. So, you get your Mercedes Benz lettering within the tail light cluster as well. As you can see, they have a very nice detail as well. If you go up close, you look very nice at night. LED indicators right here and if you remember from the pre-facelift E-Class this the headlights were like somewhere here 
and the tail lights used to have that glitter effect but that's no longer the case in the facelift model instead you get this rather like reflector units but they still look nice to me nonetheless love the LED detail when you go up close so you get your E300 badge right there and you get your rear exhaust tips right here you can see on either sides but sadly they are fake as you can see my finger can't go through they are fake sadly so this is really a disappointment I'm really against this I don't really like fake exhaust tips but you still get your rear diffuser right here part of the EMG line trim and you get this chrome bit running from the left exhaust to the right exhaust makes it look very aggressive and you get rear parking sensors and a rear camera as well so this is how it looks from the rear angle overall looks very nice from here really love it and especially love the indicators so you get this chrome part as well right here from running from right to left and then you get your three-pointed star right here probably presented at the back so overall i have no complaints for the rear end looks really aggressive and from this angle looks very nice too rims so that's the interior from the driver's view overall looks very very nice looks very elegant love the new steering wheel love the mbux system as well these are the seats with your panoramic sunroof up top yeah overall looks rather aggressive I'll just open and show it to you so this is how it looks the fully digital panel and that full screen right there makes it look very nice especially love the ambient lighting full color ambient lighting when it comes to lighting, I think Mercedes-Benz are one of the best out there. They're one of the best in the making. Let's close it. Love the opening and closing of the doors. And look at how crisp and clear the meter cluster is. Very, very nice. Especially from here. This angle. So yeah, we'll cover that when we go into the interior. Once again, you get your blind spot indicator right there. Part of the blind spot monitoring system. Now let's head back to the front. So yeah, I guess that's it for the exterior tour. We can now take a look at the interior. As I mentioned, this car comes with the dash cam package. So you get your front and rear dash cam. Let me just show you the rear dash cam. So your rear dash cam is actually just up here. As you can see right here. This is the rear dash cam together with your... You see this three-pointed star icon right there. So this is the rear dash cam of the E300 AMG line. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of the stunning 2022 Mercedes-Benz E300 AMG line. But before that, here is the key fob of the E300 AMG line. Overall, I love this key fob design. It has your lock, unlock and trunk release as well as your three-pointed star icon right here. This part is finished in gloss black. This part is finished in this brush silver finishing. And the back part is finished in gloss black right here. Overall, I really love this design of key fob. Very nice design. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unlock it. So as you can see, you get welcome lights as you unlock the car. You get your multi-beam LED lights illuminating as you unlock the car. So you get your daytime running lights illuminating as well as the blue details within the headlights. They illuminate every time as you unlock the car. So here's a better look of the headlights with the headlights off and the multi-beam LED lettering within. So as you may notice, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, side mirrors will fold out again if you press and hold on the unlock button you'll be able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously as, as well as open up the sunroof and if you press and hold on the lock button you'll be able to roll all four of them back up and close the sunroof as well 
So the E300 AMG line does come standard with Mercedes's keyless entry and start system. So just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked at the moment. You can see you get that very nice graphic, part of the digital instrument cluster. So to lock the car, just press this indentation on any of the four door handles. The car will lock. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the four door handles. As you can see, car unlocks. And you're greeted by the lovely ambient lighting. So these are the door panels of the E300 AMG line. And that's your lovely interior. Overall interior looks amazing as you can see from this angle. These are your sport seats, sunroof up there, and overall they look very nice. So yeah, let's dive into the interior tour. I just want to show you guys one unique feature with the digital instrument cluster. So as you can see, when you open the doors, they do illuminate as you can see. So as I get in the car, so I jump in and I close the door, just take a look at the instrument panel right here let me just go zoom you in like this so i close the door as you can see you get the very nice welcome graphic of the e-class overall it looks very very nice and then you get your another 12.3 inch screen right here with the mbux system overall it's very very crisp and clear so now on the doors you get your Burmester speaker grill right here. This is part of the Burmester 13 speaker sound system. Looks very nice. Down here you get your boot release lever. You get a bottle holder and a storage area right here. You get your central locking right here. Right here you have your mirror controls, window controls. All four windows in this E300 are fully automatic in both directions. Window lock right here. Then you get your fully powered uh, seat controls right here. This is for your powered headrest adjustment. This is for your, your back. This is for the seat position. You can adjust the inclination and the seat height. As well as your tie support right there. You also get 3% memory setting. Which is a nice touch. And up here, this part is finished in very nice black leather. As you can see with the contrast stitching right here. Looks very nice. It's very plush as you can see. Very plush, finish, plush finishing right here. And then this part also is finished in very nice and smooth leather as you can see. Love this finishing. And then down here is also in the same black leather with the contrast stitching. Then this part is finished in uh, soft plastics as you can see. It's rather soft plastics. Also very nicely done. You also get uh, another speaker up here. Yeah, overall the door panels do look very nice. This part is finished in the open pore ash wood trim. Really love this trim on uh, Mercedes Benz. Really love this trim, especially the open port Ashwood trim. It has a very nice detail as well. That's how it looks. Then you get your Mercedes Benz door sills right there. They are not illuminated, sadly. I would appreciate if they are illuminated. Then down here, you get your AMG floor mats, unique to the AMG line. Up here, you get your aircon vent surrounded in gloss black, as you can see. This part is also finished in the open pore ash wood trim. Looks very nice. This part is finished in uh, leather as well, but rather soft leather. Then you get your headlight controls right here. You get automatic headlamps. You get parking lights as well as your fog light, rear fog light right there. This is for your interior brightness adjustment lever. Down here, you get your electronic parking brake. Then you get your AMG pedals right there the unique EMG pedals they look very nice and yeah these are your AMG seats so the seats in this e300 AMG line are finished in this very nice black Napa leather very smooth Napa leather as you can see for the e200 it'll be finished in uh, article but the e300 is finished in Napa leather so overall they look very nice also finished with the contrast stitching as you can see love the contrast stitching together with the black and you get the side booster support as well, as you can see right here. Overall, the seats do look very nice, especially with the panoramic sunroof open. They give you a very nice vibe. And yeah, overall, they look nice. So, 
Let me just demonstrate the controls so you can adjust your seat position first. As you can see, seat position, your seat height, as you can see, this is your seat height adjustment, your seat inclination. Then you have your powered tie support. As you can see right there, it's extending. Then you get your seat back adjustment. As you can see. Then your powered headrest adjustment as well. As you can see right there. The only form of the manual adjustment comes in the headrest. You adjust it using this button right here to adjust it front and back. That's a small... Thing, I don't really mind that. Overall, the seats themselves do look very nice. So now taking a look at the interior from this angle. Looks very nice to admire, especially with the AMG steering wheel. Overall, one of the best interiors out there. Even better than the BMW 5 Series. And looks amazing overall. So now let us step inside and start the car so as you can see this is the driver's view of the interior overall the interior looks very nice from this angle as you can see love the two 12.3 inch screens so let's go ahead and start her up so to start the mercedes-benz e300 amg line just have the key fork within the interior then simply Put your foot on the brake and then just hit the illuminating engine start stop button located to the left of the steering wheel and if I close the door you will see the animation right there as you can see it will take a bit of time but the animation looks very nice as you can see right there very nice animation of the E-Class so let me just open the door back so to start, as I said, leave the key fob inside the car, put your foot on the brake, and then just hit the illuminating start-stop button to the left of the steering wheel to start. You can see you get the multi-beam headlights coming into life as well. So this is the startup in Sport. So you can see the Sport setting with the Sport meters as well as the sport infotainment system setting as you can see right there so now let's go ahead and close the door the door opening closing feels very nice as well as you can see it's very solid being in Mercedes Benz and let us take a look at the interior as you can see, this is the interior of the E300 AMG line. Looks very, very nice with the ambient lighting. So let's explore. So let's take a look at the interior of the E300 AMG line. Let's start off with the steering wheel. So this is the AMG line steering wheel. This is the new design of the AMG steering wheel. Overall, it looks very nice. Love the look of it and it feels very nice to hold. It's very thick. It's very nice for my hands, but for petite ladies, it may be a little bit of a struggle. It may be too thick. But for me, it's rather nice. I love the flat bottom design. And you get sport grips at 10 and 2. This steering wheel is finished in very nice and smooth Napa leather. As you know, Napa leather is a very smooth leather. Feels very nice to hold. You get these four spokes as well right here. And this is the new design of AMG steering wheel. You get your perforated sections on the sides. And you get this very nice uh, brush chrome finishing right here. Similar to the ones you find on the key fork. You get your pedal shifters right here, as you can see. So the steering wheel looks very nice. Nice steering wheel. This is the horn. So you get your very nice uh, Mercedes three pointed star in the center of the steering wheel. This part is finished in. One of the hard plastics, I would appreciate this part is finished in leather with some stitching. Make it look much nicer, but still nice nonetheless. So let's talk about the controls. So 
on the first spoke on the top this one controls the infotainment system so you can swipe as you can see you can swipe right swipe left as i move my fingers and you can click a menu so let's say let's click uh, settings you just click like so you can go through your various settings and all that if you want to go back home just click the home icon right there so these are your controls for the infotainment system i'll dive in later and recover the infotainment system so you have your back home and your navigating arrow for the infotainment system right there so for your bottom spoke you get your on hook off hook button for the bluetooth telephone control you get your volume slider as you can see slide your fingers like that and then you adjust your volume as you can see then you get your voice control and your favorite button right there so overall these controls do look very nice and they illuminate at night as you can see really love the look of it but it may be some getting used to for first time users for me it's okay and on the right spoke the top one controls the instrument cluster right here your 12.3 inch uh, instrument cluster so these two screens are actually 12.3 inch so this one up here controls uh, this screen so you can let's say adjust your center display you can adjust to display various things like so takes a bit of time but nonetheless it's okay you get your back button home button and down here this spoke is for your adaptive cruise control cell controls so you can program your adaptive cruise control via the cell controls right here you get, you get your reset your set distance your vehicle proximity your limitation and your cancel so yeah overall the steering wheel is very nice love the controls so yeah let's now dive into this instrument cluster and how to control it okay now so let us talk about uh, how to configure and adjust this instrument cluster this 12.3 inch cluster so as you can see now it's uh, displaying your speedometer on the left your tachometer and your digital speedometer in the center so this is the sport display this is the sport layout you get three layouts you get sport you get progressive you get uh, classic so this is the sport so let's adjust you can go through the center bit as well where the speedometer is so you just slide down you can go through your consumption you can go through your uh, bonus settings your constant acceleration your constant coasting and another down your trip from start and average fuel consumption your trip from reset with your average speed you can full screen display as you can see if you click ok let's go back to that no go back to this and click ok you can you see display you see a full screen like so of the safety menu you can display it in full if i hit back take you back to the normal setting very crisp and clear as well i love the animation scroll back up you get your mileage and then back to your digital speedometer right there so you can adjust the left and right dials as well so to go to the left one you just swipe left like so and then you can scroll down and adjust it you can display a clock you can display your trip from start trip from reset your trip itinerary with your range and uh, all that and then your current uh, radio station back to your speedometer same you can go and adjust the right one from your ref counter to your consumption eco display your navigation uh, dial right there there's your navigation then uh, you can go through your g-force indicator right there this is unique to amg models but now it's in amg line models very nice then your uh, adaptive cruise control menu and then back to your traditional ref counter so that's not all you can actually adjust more things so just go back click back or you can hit home and you can adjust your various things so use left and right to go left and right and up and down for up and down so first you can go through your assistance menu under assistance you can view your adaptive cruise control menu right there for your distance so you can see your distance settings you can go through your tension level because this car comes with attention assist and then your full screen display once again hit back to go back you have your telephone 
You can bring up your Bluetooth telephony and pair up your phone. The navigation. You can bring up your direction of travel. As well as the map. Then to go back, go to trip. That was where we were just now. If you go to radio, you can view your current station playing. You can also switch stations from here. You can see you can switch stations. Then uh, you have your media menu. The media menu, if you have to connect your USB device and all that, let's say. And then this part is rather unique styles in this place. Click that. So as you can see, I told you you get three different styles. You get classic, sport, progressive, and actually you get four. Because this is the facelifted model, so therefore you get understated as well. So let me, we are currently in sport. Let me show you classic and let's see what happens to the entire display. As you can see, this is how classic looks like. Overall classic does look nice too. And then uh, you have sport which was the one we were in just now. Then we have Progressive, which is another of my favorite. I really like this look. As you can see, it changes the main display as well in the center. Progressive, you can, you can obviously change uh, your various things on the right. As you can see, your various... You look, look, look at the animation. looks very nice. I'm just going through for you to have a look. As you can see, that's your... Ref counter, that's your speedometer. And then if you go this way, connect it, you can check your time, trip. As you can see, it's highly configurable. You can have it to anything that you like. This is very nice. Go back. Let's put it back in. It's so understated. You can see understated, it's rather simple. I personally don't like this that much. I would prefer sports. It kind of fits with the AMG line characteristic. As you can see, sport does look very nice. I really love this. Let's go back. And you have your service indicator. So your tire pressure monitoring, your assistant plus, engine oil level, all you can check via here. And you have your service messages if you have. Go back. And we can go back to trip. And then it takes us back to the main display. So you can see the display looks very nice. As you can see, if I ref the car, as you can see, it really animates nicely. I love the animation. Then you get your gear icon right there and your adaptive high beam icon down there as well. And overall, looks very nice. Especially these two screens, really admire them. So yeah, that's basically it for the 12.3 inch uh, instrument panel right here. We'll dive into the main display. So the steering wheel in this E300 AMG line is fully powered, tilt and telescopic. Just locate this lever right here. You can adjust it downwards, upwards, outwards and inwards. Overall, I love the steering wheel adjustment. It's highly configurable to your taste. And I really love the overall look of it. So on the right stock, you get your gear lever, unique to all Mercedes-Benz. You get your gear lever right here. So you just put your foot on the brake. Then to engage drive, simply just pull down, like so. One for neutral, and then up. It's for reverse. This is reverse. You get your 360 camera right there. As you can see. And then to park, just simply press the button right there. And as you can see, to engage the parking brake, just pull on it. And then it will engage the parking brake. As you can see. Overall, it's a very nice system to use. I prefer this uh, compared to BMW's... Uh, gear lever in the center this is much more convenient for everyday usage then uh, on the left stock you get your wiper and indicator controls this car does come with automatic wipers as well so your indicators as you can see 
Gets a triple turn signal. Very nice. And then uh, to activate the adaptive high beams, you can see the icon right there. You have to just push this forward to activate adaptive high beam, as you can see. Very simple. So that's it for the stocks. So now we can move on to the infotainment system. So now let's take a look at the infotainment system. So the E300 AMG line facelift does come with the all new MBUX system, Mercedes-Benz user interface system. So this is the MBUX with the 12.3 inch touchscreen head unit. It comes with a uh, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it comes with uh, 13 speakers for the Burmester sound system. It also comes with the Hey Mercedes voice control system. As you can see. How can I help? Kind of recognizes Hey Mercedes sometimes. So let's go ahead and give it a sound test. Let's go to radio. And let's just give it a quick sound test. Yeah, from what I hear, the sound system does sound really good. I obviously can't show you the full song because of copyright reasons. But hands, on, hands down, the 13 speaker sound system does sound really, really good. So this is your main screen right here, as you can see. It is a touch screen. So the previous command online was not a touch screen. You had that uh, rotary dial with that touchpad. But in this case, with the MBUX, it's fully touch screen. So that's your first option is via the touch screen. Your second option is via the touchpad right here. You have this touchpad. It goes up, down, left, right. Then you can have your back button, your skip track, and your home button. So as you can see, as I control it, there is some feedback. There is some haptic feedback. You have to feel it, and then you will feel that feedback. It obviously feels very nice. When you click on stuff, you just click down like so. Then to go home, so I prefer this over the previous generation one. And then your third option was via the steering wheel, as you can see. You can adjust it via the steering wheel. Home and back. So yeah, pretty much alright to control the system. And let us dive into the features in the system. So now I'm going to show you the infotainment system. You can control it via the touchscreen, the touchpad, and via the steering wheel. So let's start off with phone. As you can see phone you can adjust your, you can pair up a phone, you can pair up two phones at once. You have your connection right here for connecting new device and all that. You can do that. And then you have your settings. As you can see, you can go to your My Devices, Connect New Device, Device Manager, Name Format, Import Context, and Delete Context. And then uh, to go back, just hit Home. So that's your first menu, which is navigation, and then phone, sorry, and then your next menu is navigation. Let me just click that. This is the navigation map. Overall, it's very crisp and clear, as you can see. You can zoom in like this. You can zoom in and out. This is much more better than the Garmin navigations and the previous navigations that you get in the pre-facelift models. Yeah, overall, it's very responsive. And I really like how you can zoom in and out and it responds to how you touch. And this being the touch screen, it really helps a lot. So you can search points of interest and then your settings, map settings. You can adjust your traffic, parking, motorway information and advanced settings. Then you get your parking icon right here, your map. You can change it to 2D and 3D view. And yeah, you can just search where to right here and it comes up with a keypad like so to go back you just hit the back button and yeah with the touchscreen function it makes it look it's much more convenient go home just hit here and then let's go to our next one which is radio menu so in radio you have your list of radio stations right here as you can see you can scroll like this i really love this animation as you can see looks like a, a studio with all your stations as you can see like my fm mix fm minnow light and all that as you can see you can change your fms like so or you can use the touchpad depending on your taste you see you can do it like so it all depends up to you but with the touchpad you get the nice feedback i hope you
you can hear the feedback, but you get that nice feedback. Very nice. So these are your list of stations right there. You can adjust your traffic announcement, mute it, go through your radio settings. As you can see, you can adjust your Burmester uh, equalizers, your base mid treble, equalizer settings, balance and fader, sound focus, even sound profiles, and your volume settings. Sound profiles, you can adjust pure and surround sound. Currently, we are in surround sound, so therefore it sounds very nice. Sound focus, balance fader, you can adjust, and then your equalizer, your general settings. Let me just show you general settings. Generally, you can adjust your frequency fix, radio text information, and change your station background. Like so. This is how you do it. Very nice. Go home. Then next menu is your media. You can connect your device via the Bluetooth, and you can you know, play music and all that via here. You can add your device for Bluetooth and USB. Next menu is your comfort. Comfort menu, and right here you can adjust your seat comfort as you can see. You have your passenger and driver seat, you have your seat kinetics. Under seat kinetics, you can adjust uh, various things like your backrest and seat surfaces, backrest, seat surface, and how long you want it. This is actually the seat adjustments for driver and passenger. And uh, you can press here, you can actually start the Massage function, this guy actually comes with a massage function for the two front seats. So you can press play pause right here. Then you have your ambient lighting menu, which is one of the best menus. This is one of my favorites. You can adjust your colors, brightness. So under color, let me just go to brightness first. You can adjust your front rear and this black brightness, as you can see. You can adjust your brightness for your various zones. And then let's dive into the ambient lighting menu. So let's dive into the ambient lighting menu under color. As you can see, it's currently with the multicolor uh, setting. You get multicolor, multicolor animation, as well as your welcome and climate. Climate, what that means is that when you, let's say, reduce and lower the temperature, let's say I'm lowering the temperature now, it will be blue. And when I raise it, as you can see, it turns red. The whole zone of the passenger side turns red, as you can see. As you can see. If I increase it, it goes to red. And if I decrease the temperature, it goes in blue. Same goes for the driver. If I increase it, as you can see, it will turn red. Then I decrease it, it will turn blue. Overall, this is a very nice touch. Really love this small attention to details. Let's say maybe if I put it in, in let's say, sun yellow can see that difference if I increase the temperature and lower you can see that significant difference in blue and yeah I just love it so this we are currently in your multicolored uh, setting you have ocean blue as you can see so multicolor basically means uh, you get two different colors on the top and bottom end so as you can see like blue now and then you have purple sky so as you can see that part is in blue, this part is in purple. You can see the difference. And then, if I select multicolor animation, it will actually switch colors uh, in a matter of time. So it will happen really slowly. You can't actually notice it with the eye, but you can notice it's actually changing. As you drive along, you can notice this. You can see it's purple down, but blue up. It will eventually change to purple up and blue down. As you can see, it's doing that now. You can see purple is going up and blue is going down. It's very nice attention to details that make a Mercedes a Mercedes. Red moon. Then you have a uh, fire red. At red moon, you could see the difference. You can see blue there, red down there. You can see the difference, the obvious difference. Dawn blue. Sun yellow. Obviously, at night, it will look much nicer. Jungle green. Glacier blue, and then you have uh, color flash basically mixes all different colors, and you have color mix as well. As you can see, but personally, I also like uh, fire red, and uh, I love purple sky, ocean blue, as well as red moon. 
you can see the upper part now is red and the bottom part is blue that's the real obvious difference and then the down here you get your ambient lighting as well the bottom there and yeah overall it looks very nice i love the ambient lighting as you can see it just makes the car look uh much nicer okay so let us go back and you can see multicolored now if i deselect multicolored as you can see it brings up a whole spectrum of colors how cool is this so these are 64 separate colors right here you can just scroll and adjust to your liking let's say red you can see the whole cabin is red this is just a single tone color so you get let's say red then you get uh pink for those ladies out there then you get a bit of purple as you can see these are just some of the colors the footwell illuminates this part illuminates it's just a whole vibe of colors as you can see very nice you can just slide and change it to various colors as you can see so i'm sliding my hands it just changes like so but personally if you ask me multicolor is nice so let's just go back to red moon and go back that's comfort under information you can bring up your various uh vehicle information as you can see it's loading you have your vehicle information engine information you can bring up your spot display right here with your engine output and engine torque it's very nice as you can see so accelerate you can see the display moving consumption right here you can bring up the onboard owner's manual as well should you wish you have your mercedes me app so this car comes with the mercedes me uh connectivity so you can pair it up to your mobile phone and you can control stuff like uh climate control and uh start the car from your phone and lock and unlock from your phone it's very good touch so now let's go to vehicle settings so under here you get your quick access settings like your electronic stability program your lane assist your state tension level and your tow away protection you get all this under assistance first up camera and parking you get your camera warning and your warning tone as you can see you can adjust your warning tone pitch You see it's totally configurable you get your warning tones and all that and go back you get active lane keeping assist you can turn it off on and adjust the sensitivity you get active brake assist you can adjust the how early you want it attention assist how sensitive you want it and your active blind spot assist as well And then next up, let's go to vehicle, dynamic select, winter tire limits. Under dynamic select, you can adjust your individual configuration and all that. Winter tire limits, automatic seat adjustment, belt adjustment, acoustic lock, automatic locking, automatic fold in, boot lid opening timer. Let's go back to lights. As you can see, ambient lighting again dipped beams for your adaptive high beam exterior light delay shut shut off interior lighting delayed shut off intelligent light system and surrounding lighting system settings you can adjust your styles and displays right here it's the same thing like how i showed you just now styles you can adjust sport progressive classic display brightness and display off scroll down and then you have your day and night design And then go back you have your controls keyboard and all that haptic touch haptic feedback voice assistant like mercedes audio wi-fi bluetooth time and date language units activation software update system backup pin protection system info reset so you can adjust your driver profiles as well this being a mercedes you can adjust your driver profiles and yeah the system is very responsive as you can see let's go home and yeah pretty much that's it for the mbux system it's a very good system and then under teams 
can adjust your teams let's say trip experience efficiency lounge basically change the team of the infotainment system then if you scroll down you can go through your assistant sound display off and onboard owner's manual and yeah pretty much this is a very good infotainment system it's even better miles better than bmw's iDrive. So you see i just love how the touchpad responses to your finger fingertips it's very nice and yeah pretty much that's it for the infotainment system we can take a look at the rest of the car so right here you get your central locking you get power folding side mirrors as mentioned just now as you can see with the blind spot indicator right there and as I mentioned just now, this car does come with the uh, voice command. So you can say, Hey Mercedes. Hey Mercedes. I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? Please adjust temperature to 20 degrees. As you can see, it just takes some time to respond. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to 20 degrees. As you can see, it just set the temperature to 20 degrees. So let me just try that again. Hey Mercedes. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Please set temperature to 18 degrees. And as you can see, I'm the temperature on the driver's side to 18 degrees. As you can see, she just did it. It's very nice, especially when you're driving. And this part up here is finished in very smooth leather as you can see smooth uh, napa leather with the contrast stitching and you get a speaker right here as well i would appreciate if there's a heads up display but sadly you don't get that and then right here your four climate control vents look very nice this part is finished in uh, open pore ashwood trim then this part is finished in very plush leather okay so now moving on here you get your triple zone automatic climate control system these are your front controls and there are separate cell controls for the rear which i'll show you later but these are your front controls you get your fan speed temperature right here as you can see passenger side temperature driver side temperature you get your different modes for your front passenger and the driver then you get your fan speed automatic mode front defrost rear defrost hit the menu button to bring up the climate control display on the infotainment system as you can see you can adjust your fan speed right here your temperature as you can see then your driver side temperature you can adjust that all via here your different modes as well your off maximum defrost rear defrost sync means if you have it turned on the driver side will control the temperature for both sides as you can see as you can see the whole ambient lighting strip responds to when i change it as you can see even the other side responds and if you turn it off each side will have their own individual temperature controls with circulation as well right there and then you can adjust the climate control for the second row of seats as well you can adjust their fan speed and their temperature this is much better so you don't need to reach all the way at the back to adjust you can just adjust it via the front screen the old e-class in with the command online didn't have this so i really appreciate this you can go back like so and then below here you get your shortcut buttons for your telephone navigation radio media vehicle settings shortcut button and your hazard light switch as you can see and then right here you get a rather nice storage area this part is finished in a lovely open pore ash wood trim you get your setting room finishing and it opens like this to review a nfc wireless charging system you can put your phone here for wireless charging and you get a power outlet actually right here as you can see right there before there was no power outlet you actually can slot your key right here if you remember in the prefacive model i really miss that there's no point putting power outlets because nobody ever uses power outlets these days 
and what we use more is this the apple carplay and android auto so you get your usb-c port right there for your apple carplay and android auto connectivity so overall it's rather nice you get your ambient lighting right here as well as you can see in blue so moving on here you get your controls as you can see the touchpad that i showed you just now you get your volume dial right here it's very nice aluminium finishing your power button and this button control the car's rear sunshade let me demonstrate that so as you can see that's the rear sunshade right there but i can't uh bring it up because as you can see the rear dash cam is there so it might get in the way of the dash cam but as you can see the rear sunshade is right there then up here you get your dynamic select toggle switch you can change the class different modes so you have a sport mode sport plus individual where you can configure the suspension and the climate control and the driving characteristics and the steering wheel stiffness to how you want sport plus sport as i mentioned comfort eco eco is the most fuel efficient mode comfort as you can see eco comfort sport sport plus individual you can actually just touch it if i'm not wrong as you can see you can just touch in the previous one you couldn't do that this is much more convenient really really love this and then that's that this is the button to off your parking sensors this is your automatic start stop button if you have the engine turned on the engine will shut off when you arrive to a stop like a traffic light or traffic jam to save the petrol that the car running on so you get your 360 camera button right here as well press it to bring it up as you can see it brings up your camera right there you can see your different views this is your front wide angle as you can see very clear your top wide angle with your bird's eye view and then your all round cameras your rear wide angle and your rear camera as you can see it's very nice to go back you just hit home on the system engage it in reverse foot on the brake up as you can see you get your guidelines as i turn the wheel you can see the guidelines move as you can see really nice and you get uh, all round sensors as you can see right there to put it back to park parking brake all right so that's that okay and that's about it for the center section it's about it it's very simple very easy to use and yeah really love the interior design of the e300 okay so let us move on down here So right here you get your front center armrest open it right here and it reveals a storage area together with two usb charging ports right there as you can see this part is finished in very nice leather and this part is finished in rather hard plastics i would appreciate this is in soft leather be much better but still okay to me nonetheless finish in black leather right here with contrast stitching very comfortable to rest your hands seat that's your lovely interior with the mbux screens so up top you get your auto dimming rear view mirror and this is frameless very nice design in the pre pre facing model this was not frameless but now you get frameless so it's very nice you expect this type of things in premium cars like mercedes benz up here you get your reading light controls as you can see right there for the left passenger and the right passenger as you can see both of them illuminating at once and they are very bright as you can see as you can see right there then you get your interior lights they illuminate like so together with the reading lights at once and it's very bright as you can see really really love it you get your rear interior lights as well you can on it via here that turns on the rear parts you can see right there then you get a button to turn off the lights sos when you see button and the mercedes me call button sunglass holder 
and then this is your control for the sunroof so as you can see the blinds are now open to open the sunroof just pull back on this lever as you can see just pull back for once and it opens the sunroof in full as you can see that's the sunroof wide open very very nice and to close it just pull it down once it's all a one touch operation very silently it operates you can open the sunroof as a vent by pushing up once as you can see and you can always close the blinds should you prefer you can just pull it down and it just closes the blinds like so as you can see sun visor for the driver's side just get a vanity mirror and a light but right the light should be like this as you can see and you get your microphone right here for the voice command and the driver's side does get a grab handle and that's your Mercedes dash cam right there much better look at it very nice and yeah overall the interior looks stunning just love it Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn off right now. As you can see, everything just turns off. And then let's take a look at the rest of the car. So now let's take a look at the rear doors. So on the rear doors, you get your two speakers right here, the Burmester speakers. You get your open pore ashwood trim right here. Very nice. This part is finished in plush leather with contrast stitching. Window control right there. This part is finished in leather as well, as well as here with the contrast stitching. Motor holder storage. This part is finished in soft plastics and you get your rear sun blinds as well as you can see this is a must-have i think for all e-class e and 5 series models this is a must-have as you can see those are the front seats from the back this is the rear seats you get a chrome door sill right there and amg floor mats you also get a puddle light right here the doors do open quite wide as well, so it makes going in and out much easier. Step inside. So as you can see, the driver's seat is set to a position to my driving position. I'm about five foot seven, and there is enough of space for me. I get about this much, and as for headroom, get about this much only. So it's a bit tight for me in terms of headroom, but legroom it's all right. For the E300, you get a B-pillar aircon vents, as you can see. It's very nice to have, especially if you are the VIP sitting at the back. You get a B-pillar aircon vents. For the E200, you don't get B-pillar aircon vents, sadly. There are cutouts in the front seats, which actually aid in legroom, as you can see. You get a seat storage. It's a nice leather pouch for both sides, as you can see. And right here, you get your triple zone climate control, as I mentioned. You can adjust your fan speed, temperature. You can turn the vents off like this. And then uh, down here, you get a power outlet and two USB-C charging ports. As you can see. Right here, you get your front center armrests in the same leather with 
storage right here and two cup holders we get another uh, sunroof at the back for the rear seats if we just close the door yeah the rear doors do feel very solid as well you open and close as you can see then up here you get your rear reading lights as you can see up there for both sides as well and you get coat hooks for both sides too and even you get a coat hook here for both sides and that's the interior the e300 amg line from the back really love the new steering wheel and yeah what do you think of the new interior just let me know in the comments i really love it there may be some hate over the steering wheel but overall it looks very very nice very elegant i personally love it one of the best interiors out there but, uh better than the 5 series in fact actually mercedes make one of the best interiors as you can see very nice so let's move on Moving on, right here, you get your fuel door, it's an electronic release, as you can see once again, like so. So to open up the rear hatch, you actually have three ways to open it. The first way is via the lever inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on. You just open the door right here. And then you just locate this lever, pull on it, and that releases the tailgate. That's your first way. The second way to open the tailgate is via the button on the key fob. Just press and hold on it. As you can see, the tailgate will release, and you can close it as well from here. Press and hold. As you can see. The third way is the more conventional approach. Just approach to the tailgate itself. Locate the touchpad beneath the Mercedes star. Press on it. And the tailgate will open right up like so. There used to be a fourth way which is via the contactless operation. But that is uh, already ditched sadly for the facelift model. It's a bit of a shame. But it is what it is. Boot space in the E300 is quite good. As you can see you get a bit of storage nets right here. And then uh, you get your Mercedes basket right here and Mercedes umbrellas that came with the car. And then below, you have your tyre repair kit. You don't get a spare tyre, but you can store some things down here. Then you get a little space right here. And then to fold down your rear seats, you just locate this lever, pull on them. You can fold down the left one for the left and the right one for the right. You just pull on them and they will fold the seats flat. So as you can see, Actually quite good boot space and then you get a light right here as well and this is actually a hook you just pull this and you can hook some stuff at the back some shopping bags and all that it's very nice so that's your button right here you get a light and then you get your powered boot close button and your lock button so if you press this it will lock the whole car and close the boot as you can see And you can simply just open it like this once it's locked and it's the same way and you just close it you press this as you can see now it's really silently Okay, on the passenger side, it's 
pretty much the same as the driver's side door. Same finishing up here, down here, and right here as well as down here. The smooth leather, the open pore ash wood trim. Your seat controls are the same. The master speaker grille, your door handle right there, window control, bottle holder storage, pretty much the same. Then you get your Mercedes Benz door sills. Your lovely interior from here looks very nice and then uh, your seats from this angle and then you get your four-way power lumbar support as well and just your four-way power lumbar support for the front passenger and the driver and then AMG floor mats Right here, you get a nicely sized glove box with a light, as you can see. It's a lockable glove box as well. Sun visor for the passenger side, just get a vanity mirror and a nice LED light. And the passenger side, just get a grab handle. And yeah, overall, it looks very nice from the inside. Love it. very So now let us start the car with the door closed. So now let me just show you starting up the car in progressive mode, which is the progressive team. So let's start her up in progressive. That's how it looks like as you can see. Overall not too bad. Very nice. See? So that's all for today's video on this lovely 2022 Mercedes-Benz E300 AMG line. Thanks for watching, stay well, stay safe and goodbye.